about a two dollar peel. One that I already have. The ball bearing one, not the peel. How's it going? I really enjoyed number six. Like I really, really enjoyed that one. So did it make that out? Yeah, it was in there. I just wanted to make sure you knew the name was okay. <laughs> So you've been partying up until then? Is that what you're saying? We talked about this yesterday. You actually got invited to huge parties. You can tell us. This is a safe place. Yeah. <laughs> this, this won't go anywhere. <laughs> <coughs> no, come on. Dude, you didn't even get invited. Oh, come on. You know people who went? To what? To tea parties? Yeah. Oh, come on. I don't really go to those. You went through the 60s the hard way. Never mind. It was where the open-minded, free love people went. When you went there, everybody would throw their keys in the jar. All the husbands would throw their keys in the jar. Uh, and the wives would pick out a set of keys and go to the party and do their thing. I right, was in an episode of that 70s show. That doesn't seem like it. No. You should at least be able to pick through the rope. You were 33? Yeah. <clears throat> when did you tell me you met dad? A good tipper? <laughs> really? Yeah, that guy really wants to get me. Were you in college when you met him? Graduated without your MRS degree, so you were looking for that endorsement. I went back to school because I didn't get my MRS degree the first time around. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to stick with it. Good for you. Yeah. 
out. Viewers, three twenty nine and thirty one. Thirty one. And you like I mean this is why I'm glad to have you. There's so much about your life that you really don't know because you never you know when you're somebody's kid and they're like, Hey, tell me about going to college <laughs> Oh yeah. Where were you living? I was in Oh, so you're right close to college. By yourself? Yeah. How'd you afford it? Were you waiting tables or? They had to wait tables. It was uh, free. Yeah, I know a lot of college students in Anchorage Village. I have no income yet. So wait, let's just roll it back. You're 18, graduated from high school. Oh, that was my first year. First two Whoa, years well. of school, I was in Anchorage Village. Where'd you go to school? Fort Smith. It's a long drive. You get picked up after one term. How'd that feel? That must have sucked. I just didn't know what to expect. I was I was very No, I've I've seen that happen to students. Like when I was at university they come there and they just Yeah, they don't socialize, they feel isolated. It's unfortunate. I mean, how do you feel about that now, like looking back? I kind of wish I had stayed there because when I got back, I went into the next day and then I was in Anchorage Village for two years. Were you living with your parents when you were in Anchorage Village? Okay. So it wasn't your idea to go out and become a nurse, it was your dad? Well, I kind of wanted to stay with my dad. You didn't change bed plans for us? I'm not sure how much I would have changed bed plans for him. I don't think I would have. Oh. No. So you were a nurse's aide for a while, and then you started going to college, and then Bill Stamp swept you off your feet. He's How old were you then? <clears throat> when you married Bill? And you hadn't finished your degree then? Like in a meat packing plant or something? No, it was a meat packing plant. What? It was a meat packing plant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really liked it. Life was just so good. And I had no time for other things. If I didn't have a plan, life stopped me. And somebody 
many people do you believe you're going to be? I have no idea. Slices per loaf ratio. So you're the one. I've gotten a few of those. You open them up and you can see through the meat. Like <laughs> the meat's like falls apart. But um, that's awesome. So you I had really, that for a little while, yeah. or? And I really do like the philosophy or energy or cosmic energy that the Hebrew Greek walked with. You know, we can talk about the Hebrew Greek and the Coptic and the Greek and all that, but I think that the spirit of the Hebrew Greek So you just quit? Hung out at home? Stared at the wall? Bill was in the Air Force at the time. What was his job in the Air Force? He was a clerk. And eventually he didn't want to do the job anymore. He was there for about a year and a half. And then he had to go to Europe and he learned the culture and what it was like. Officer in the Air Force? Was he career enlisted? No. What year was he in? Um, I'm not sure. I think it was like 83, 84. Or no, I think it was like 85. Just after the war. So you were like what? One to eight years into the war then? Somewhere in there? Yeah, and then it ended, and the draft ended the next day. I mean, I don't remember much about Vietnam and that whole war and all that. Was it was it kind of like Iraq, where it's oh we're going back, we're going back, and then never really. Well, they ruled me back in two thousand eight. Yeah, like the Marines evacuation and all that. It's weird. I I used to feel like that was something I completely couldn't relate to, but now having lived in like Iraq and Iraq, it's not the same thing. I can kind of see how those sorts of things would play in. So you were thinking about enlisting. Why? What branch were you in when you were in Vietnam? <laughs> Particular reason? What do you mean? Well, it was also I worked for the Marine Corps for a year. Oh. And that was open to women back then? So we always had kind of a medical thing going on. Was that just from your dad working in that hospital? Yeah, probably. I don't know. A solid medical background. 
Well, I mean, it, you know, if it goes through a and you're exposed to it, then you're so anyway, that ended. Been drafted? Oh, the airport's not drafting people. Did he enlist to get out of drafting? I don't know. How did you meet Bill? Really? Were you the librarian? What's this? Well, it's a hundred something. What the hell was that? Like the whole evening. Yeah. So you went over to the library, just being a guy, leaning over the big bell. The things just kind of went from there, and you guys decided to get married. But then, I mean, what made you decide to quit school and go away and I work at the I sandwich really, factory? I, I really wasn't going to So you went there and worked at the sandwich factory and quit. How long were you married? Your only job was at the sandwich factory? Or? Well, okay, so back in the two, I went back to school. And then I went to work at the sandwich factory. Okay. And then I went to work at the sandwich factory. You would sign up for the whole thing. And then I would come back to school. It's just the idea of like saving up to buy a house. It's so cool. <laughs> it's so you guys did that, just kept dropping classes. Yeah. Yeah. 
and you were just working as nurse today at this time. Yeah. You weren't going to go back to school. Mm -hmm. You guys were all able to pull down at school. So happy for you guys. Yeah. 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 When I start. Know what it is in Oregon right now? Yeah. Oregon has one of the higher So you guys are getting by on less than sixty. I'm sorry. Big living. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, though. That's like, do your calculator and stuff. It's like two months' salary. That's pretty that's insane. Is it the pond that you calculate? So, anyway, you guys were just chugging along. I mean, you didn't have kids. Wonderful grandmother to kiss them. Right. So you just want them to see dad and then you just went separate ways back into the boat. much for free. Pretty good. So you guys were living there when you got divorced? Yeah, we were there and then I said, you know, after she left, I decided to come back and visit her. And I had kind of said it to her. I really want to go and visit her, but what their position was in the community, so she didn't want to go there. She didn't want to be brought up there. I. Why'd you have to make a deal with Bill? Oh, even when you got divorced? Huh? Even when Well, we were just separated at that time. He was supposed to come over to Florida. 
Who is he doing that? Totally black magic. Then. Yeah. Sure. yeah. And so he got the, uh, Did he have a degree? Or? And so he said he was. So he actually like just dropped out of school and went down to board. Is that kind of when you guys divorced <laughs> or separated? Yeah. Um, and so I I came back and I thought, well, you know, I will just get my degree and you know, I won't be working for you anymore. I'll just be back in Clark and I'll and I'll work on my Really? What happened to that? Explain it all. That's what you wanted to do. You well, got your degree in chemistry. A, I was working as a waitress at a cafe and I was doing some full time work. Start going to grad school? Who was your friend? Um, the Like a friend from Lake State? Yeah. But I met Dad. You met Dad? I guess you didn't get married right away, did you? Yeah. After you met him? What? It's like my parents. No, you and Dad <laughs> got married after a week. Yeah. Plus <laughs> <Well, it's> more. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Tell us more. <laughs> You met Dad, and you're like, what a great butt, let's get married. I mean, what the hell is going More on? More or less. Come on. He just walks in, he tips you 10%, says don't spend it all in one place, and you say marry me? I mean, <laughs> no. what the hell? Did you get pregnant? No. Did you know you were pregnant in a week? No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There's a story. <laughs> no, we just started dating, and... Started, it's a week. <laughs> you go to three dates. The next one's at the courthouse, baby. Like, Something like that. What? Why? Why get married so fast? We just thought it was time. I wanted to have kids. He wanted to have kids. A week. A week. I had no idea. Oh, the, the, the texts are going to fly fast between David and his brother and sisters. <laughs> wow, Mom. That's crazy. Yeah, I know. That's I pretty know. cool, though. What your parents think? They're going, uh... <laughs> Who is this guy? Yeah. Wow. You were probably extremely confused when you found out you met someone. He was sort of, I looked at the old pictures and I looked at the new ones and I think he was a little bit older than the man I married. You know, or I look at the recent pictures of him and I can't see, I can't see the person that I can remember getting married in the
this way. Or in October. Right, and it came right away. away. Really? Because we can't have a certain song for that Saturday. Song. And um, Rebecca was born a year and a half ago. Hillary and Jamie were born 15. Well, you were three years and nine months old, or ten months old, when you were born. Something out there. Works back. Who's working on the page for me? I need to do like three more pages. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. He's been there about three months with me. Not quite two months with me. Two months with me. And then he got pneumonia. It's insane to start a band in one city. You started out out in the graveyard or something? That's quite possible. And then he went on and did the band in Canada. And then he did it there. But it was, I think he went to work at the sewage treatment plant shortly before we were married because he had to get his D license and his C license and his U license. And I ran off and he got me. It's either a year and a half or it's half a year. I don't know. Is it friend of my school? No, he was a friend of mine. He's still in high school. A year and a half is super young. Wait, school. no, he's um he's Jim's age, Uncle Jim's age. And Uncle Jim was like when I was in twelfth grade he was in eleventh grade or twelfth grade. So he knew like Jim? That. Huh? He knew Jim. Yeah. So he wasn't a complete stranger when you guys met. I didn't know. I didn't later. remember him. He oh. was friends with Jim, and by that time I had gone to nursing school, and I was back home, and I was the third shift or second shift with the people who were left home. So I was never home with my mom because two of the boys had their So you love everything. You're all 